You think there's much difference between touring in Europe and last year you were in the uh, United States? I yeah, think yeah, yeah, really a lot of they difference. They all speak English. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 the audiences are different, or? Yeah, sure, of course they are. I mean, in each in Europe, there tends to be really a lot of difference between each country and even each town, you know, in each country, which there is in America. But now I can't see the interview. Uh, e. E. Oh, no, oh, I'm the E. The but I mean, uh, it's still playing in a hall, you know, to people. It's still basically the same. You're still up on stage Americans playing to a live out. audience, you know? It's different, though. It is ob really different because it's much easier My to communicate with an American audience, obviously. I mean, like with the Dutch audience, they really mostly speak very good English, whereas, like, say in Germany, I mean, I, I can't say anything very much to the audience because I don't speak German. So the communication is limited to music and gestures. It should be enough, really. How do you feel towards the audience? I mean, uh, I remember a film when uh, the, the camera was put on stage and you could see the audience the way uh, the stones see the audience and these people look, uh, I don't know, the, the people look uh, a bit uh, a bit frightening, a bit... Frightening. Uh, you should see you from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, do they, no, they don't, they don't get you, you know. How, you how do you feel towards the audience when you see the people? Oh, I love them, don't I? If they come and see us, it's great, you know. Um, they don't scare us, no, you know. As an as audience, as a whole thing, individually, you could be scared by people, I suppose. They come there to enjoy it for the same reasons as we do, you know. So there's not a question of um, being um, frightened of an audience. Vic, what are your feelings when you're uh, doing a concert in front of uh, 30,000 people? What, what, I couldn't what describe it in sh brief space given to us. You get a lot of adrenaline bounce, you know. And it's very difficult to describe. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been on stage, but people that are like, you know, uh, like going on telly for the first time, you know, or something. It's a bit like that. Have the audiences uh, changed? I mean, you've been playing in front of big audience for now about 10 years. Do the crowds react the same way now as they did 10 years ago? Or no, are the no, audiences they different? Used scream. They used to scream. That uh -huh. used to be the thing. Um, well, when we first started, they used to just sort of clap we and dance. We used to be like the Osmonds, you know? Ah, uh, I understand. Then we got into the screen period, uh, which was in a way very enjoyable, but it got rather boring because you couldn't play. So then we gave up the stage for two years. And you, you, you went back to stage. The Beatles didn't come back on yeah, stage. Yeah, we went so back because we thought, it, and when we came back, you, it was a different uh, thing, you know, where it was slightly easier to play because it wasn't the screaming. But the audiences are generally very good, you know, appreciative. Uh, what do you think of? Acts who are supposed to appeal to younger people like Slade or T Rex and sort of n well, another no. nun question. I mean, do well, you, do we like they're them as a band? You know? Yeah, I mean that. People. I don't personally like what they're I don't do like Slade or T Rex very much. You know, there's yeah, other bands I do, do like. I don't mind Slade. I like. I mean, I don't mind some of their records are good. I mean, there's a band that's been around a long time. There's not a bad band. <laughs>